Mr. Basil Chapman has to do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. He also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it actually right under uh, featured content because Basil did a great workshop for his subscribers on December 20th. You can get the opening call for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%, and one full year for $1195, which is a savings of $592 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and so you're going to get a great newsletter. You're also going to get the subscriber event that he just did for his clients, and he has more subscriber events on there, folks, okay? So check it out. Kick off the new year with it. If it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you, 28th, 29th day, just cancel it. You're still going to have a great newsletter. You're going to have a great archive. You can understand how the Chapman Wave moves. And we go from there. Basil Chapman, New Year's coming at us, man. Oh, isn't this a quick year? I guess they get quicker as you get older. That That's toilet paper simple. roll's getting smaller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's going faster. There's no doubt, man. I know. It certainly is, yeah. So I thought I'd mention, since this is the end of the year, this will be the, the last interview for 2023, I thought I'd just I'd go through a couple of things here. And what, what, the most important is that in my work, I, years and years ago when I used to hand chart, I found out that if I could identify the lowest low bar, I could see the prices move higher. I could actually, uh, I could label the peaks as they move up, but they're also basically grading them. <clears throat> And what I wanted to see was a buy signal get upgraded to a buy mode, which implied that I should get at least four higher peaks or whatever. It doesn't matter whether it's a one minute chart or a monthly chart. So the idea is to get you off the ground, get to the peak A, then a one penny above A starts leg B. If it makes a peak, it's called a peak until it pulls back and then goes above that previous peak by one penny, starts leg C, and that can take you to D. Yes, you can go to E, F, and G, but D is really the, the, the core of the, of the uh, Chapman Wave methodology. So in this particular regard, I wanted to show you something very interesting. We made a peak E in the Dow in January of 2022 at 36,952. On the right here is the monthly chart. I'll move this up so you can see a little bit better. That's an E right there. And then it pulled back sharply to 28,660 and uh, started to move higher. Now, one of the things I wanted to mention is also we actually long from um, the 2020 low. We were long the diamonds, a core position from the 18,213 level. And we're also long from the October 28,660 low of last year. But what I'm looking at is we're in leg C. Now, this is a monthly chart. That okay. means, let's just imagine the market stalls right here in December, yep. and it doesn't for the whole of January. It doesn't go above whatever the high is. Just imagine it's this 37,641 high that was made back on uh, four days ago. That was, uh, that was on the 20th, and it was actually 37,000. Um, let me give you the exact figure. A six, there are 37,418.76. If in all of January we go to point one point higher, that, that's not just one point in 37,642. I'm saying if it's just one point higher above that uh, 37,641.30 yes. level it, to 30.31. That actually continues leg C for the entire month of January. I see. So okay. my concept is that D is where other things can happen. Your obligation in this Chapman Wave methodology is to get you to at least a D. Well, that means we couldn't make a D. Imagine now that we, uh, we don't make a new high in January. That means all of January is peak C. But then you have to go all of February to make that leg D if it goes above that peak C, so it's leg D. And then you have to wait for the following month, March, to confirm that it's a peak D. So, so far, everything that I'm looking at suggests that there should be higher prices. It doesn't tell you how far we could pull back on the short term, but certainly the lower 32,327 
the, Oct or the October 27th low, that should be sacrosanct. That should not be taken out as it stands right now. So it, that part of it is very good. I can just do the other indices. But what I want you to say is more, more important than that <clears throat> is that I'm finding for subscribers to my opening call that this is the biggest variety um, in sectors and and even price. So it's broadening out, right? Yeah. So so what's very interesting is that we have stocks. We have, for instance, we still have that UEC, that's uranium from 364, uh, and here it is at what? 674, and yet we still have the Microsoft. So let me show you UEC right now. Here it is, a very low price stock. <clears throat> but look how nicely it's done. Almost that uh, it's not a multi year. Uh, well, actually, it is a multi year because you had to go back all the way to 2000 and to 2010, where the high was 748. It's come all the way down to pennies, and it's back at the double top of 660, which was April of 2022, and this year it's gone higher. It's gone into the 770s. So that's a very low price stock. But we also have Microsoft, and we've got Microsoft from 338. Here it is at three, uh, 374. It hit 384, and it's just kind of the stalling sideways motion I think is very important because it's a digestive phase. So we've got, we're, we're in areas that I didn't expect by the end of the year that we'd be in. We're in a gold stock, we're in nice. an aluminum stock, we're in a, in a financial, we've got a, a bank, we've got Bank of America. Bank of America is really important for us to be moving higher. I want to see those financials moving. Look how they land, look at the Bank of America. 50.11 back in February of 2022, it plunges down to the 24 level. Now it's at 33. It's just starting to move. So when I did my webinar, I was looking at just this type of thing where really good companies had really sharp pullbacks, and now they're in a recovery process. Will that recovery last into 2020, the first quarter of 2024? And that's kind of what we're trying to play at this particular point. So yes, we're in Basil, let, let me ask you, when, when did we start together? Was it like 99? Was it 2000? Uh, we we started in 2001. 2001, okay. 2002. 2002, okay. But I started my service, I think it was February 2022. Unbelievable. Isn't that? It's amazing when you just. It blows my that. mind, man. <laughs> and we've had so many bear and bull markets. I mean, 22 you know, we've, 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 years, we've, man. Wow. We've been through a lot. And what's very interesting, I started listening to you way back. I used to, I, I was yeah. telling someone the other day. Oh, listen, I man, say, I remember you coming up to the radio studio. I remember sitting right down with you, man. I, I remember saying answer. specifically, oh, man, I want to do this. I, I, I remember the whole deal, man. Unreal. Yeah, I remember it well. So Unreal. anyway, thank you very much for all that you No, done, thank Tom. you, I man. Really appreciate it. Listen, get and over to our website. Fun. Get over to our website, folks, okay? You're going to go under featured content. You're going to see Basil right there, picture and everything hit that button and, and you're going to be very happy you did basil uh well i'll of course i'll see the show tomorrow but happy new year man and a happy new year to you and a very successful new year to everyone and a healthy new year big time yes. yeah see you next week yeah Thanks. going to need a crystal ball after all it's impossible to predict the future right